What is up, YouTube? Nintendoman64 here, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we taught Misty a thing or two. Retrieve the Dig TM from a Team Rocket grunt. Traded away Florence and added in his place Jafar, and have gotten to Vermilion City. Now we got aboard the SS Anne and battle us some trainers. Welcome to the SSN, me may he. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? And Man 64 flashed the SS ticket. Great, welcome to the SSN. Now the great thing about the SSN, in this version, unlike previous versions of the SSN, not only can you run in it, but in this room, if your Pokemon get tired or weak, you can heal them. So it beats the hell out of running all the way back to Vermilion to the Pokemon Center. Now we are going... First, to look at this trash can where we find a Hyper Potion, which is kind of useful right now, but not incredibly useful. But we are going to do each of these rooms, battle each of these trainers, and jack everybody's levels up to a place where I'm happy with them. Now, we're going to start with Flower here, because if I'm not mistaken, in this room there are Fishermen, or is a Fisherman, and a Sailor. I don't know why they're sailing. <laughs> Michael trying to talk take two and action. Um, I don't know why they're sharing a room. I mean, one of them's got to sleep on a chair or something, but oh well. Let's go. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if I can tell if you're from the seas or mountains. But stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Maybe I read that wrong, but that that didn't seem right. Up oh, tentacle, of course it's a tentacle. Tentacle is a uh, water poison type. You'd think it's water electric, but no, it's water poison. Which makes it very weak to psychic and ground, but it's a pretty good it's a pretty good wall to use, and I actually don't mind using tentacles through playthroughs. It's, it's just it's just annoying, I guess. Because it takes them a while to start learning water moves, and by the time you it learns its first water move, you already moved on and hold on a second. <coughs> oh, bless me. That was a bad one. I really shouldn't be doing these when I have a cold, but I don't care, I wanna get this shit done. It may be five degrees here in New York, but I don't care. We are doing this and we are gonna get through this. And Otis is just gonna keep leveling up. Level 18. I think it's gonna learn a new move soon. Oh, it does! Learn Sleep Powder. Hmm. I do have, uh, what's his name that knows Sleep Powder already, so do we really need you to know Sleep Powder too? Uh, nah, I think we're good. Yeah, you don't need to know Sleep Powder, Flower. It's okay. Ooh, star you? Hell yeah, you're gonna level up, level the crap out of yourself from that. I did consider using a star you in this playthrough when I was gonna when I when I actually when I first thought about doing this playthrough, I was told I should do Bulbasaur, but I just hate Bulbasaur with a burning passion. Like it just it, it's it's such an annoying Pokemon to use. Cause you go through so many of these gyms where you're actually good and useful, but then it gets you get like side blasted by like a freaking Goldeen that knows tech, so you have to have Pikachu on your team. Besides, I wanted to use Oddish in this playthrough. I don't think Oddish gets the love he deserves, or he or she or it deserves. And Eric Carl is just blitzing the. Cr oh yeah, Jesus Christ, I I've forgotten. We gotta level up Jafar. We can't just have him be this far behind everybody. Okay, so... Really? You're not even gonna look at me? Like, I gave you ample time to look at me. Alright, Tentacle. Yeah, this is, a, this is a difficult method I'm going through. In order to fully... immerse myself in the strategy that I have, I need Abra to start learning moves, and it doesn't know any moves. So, yeah, that's the difficulty I'm in right now. 
Hopefully it levels up quickly. Uh, Staryu. Yes. Put an Abra. Switch Abra out for Flower. I can't believe this stupid, uh, emulator got corrupted. I don't even know how that's possible. I looked it up and it's, and, and everyone on the site said it shouldn't get corrupted. Like, it, this, this, is, this is just the luck that my name gives me. The name my father bestowed upon me. But he has it too, so it's, it's his fault too. And your far grows to level 10. Awesome. Hopefully. Okay, what do we got here? TM44, which is rest. It's actually a good move, but it's more of a strategical move than anything. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, well. Ooh, right off the bat. I like feisty kids. Like, get the hell away from me. And you're a sailor, too, you weirdo. Okay. Uh, let's go Zappy. Zappy needs some time. Bitch, please. And Jafar levels up. Awesome. Let's keep that up, Jafar. I'd really love if you leveled up as fast as humanly possible. This thing's strategy's gotta be to lower my accuracy, because this is getting a this is gonna get annoying real fast. I bet it's gonna miss right here. Oh wow. It didn't. Flower. You gonna level up now, Flower? Hell yeah! Nice job, Flower. I like the rate at which our team is leveling up. Jafar hasn't really surprised me yet with how well he's leveled up, but... You know, you, you just love to see these Pokemon just blitzing through through all these trainers, especially, oh, forgot the item. That would kind of help. Ooh, an Ether, which restores PP of a Pokemon move. No, don't go back in there. Jesus, Red. What the hell is your problem? I really do like the way this team is coming out. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Just a brief moment. I just gotta look for something. Okay, we are back, and I finally found it my little chart here which has the team that I've decided I'm going to build and as of right now as presently constructed we have three of the six Pokemon we are taking with us to the Elite Four already on our roster it's for you to decide which six they are which three of the six they are but first I'm gonna go heal my guys up a bit they seem a bit worn out. Talk to this lady. She lets you rest in her cabin. Because she's so nice. And then we go down. And we've already done the first two rooms. So let's do the third. The bar's in front. Oh, nope, we already did this one. Okay, never mind. We'll do the fourth now. And you know what they say about sailors and battling. No, I don't. What do they say? Hello? No, you're not going to say anything? Okay. If you say so. Go with Zappy. Zappy. Mostly because of that move. I do not want Oddish to die because of an ice attack. That and Pikachu's well on his way to learning another powerful move. And I'd rather him learn it, sooner rather than later. Okay. And another trainer. Come on, then. My sailor's pride is at stake. Dude, you're a sailor. You know, if you're, in the, if you're in the Navy or the Marines, yes. But if you're just a sailor, you have no respect. You all, and I will shove all your problems down fathoms below. I don't even know what the hell I just said there. I tried to make a pun and it didn't work. Because I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. Let's keep bringing this one back too far. Zappy, let's get you to level 20, kid. And, 
Ooh, Jafar. Level up quick. Nice, I like that. And Zappy level to level 20 and ooh, slam. That is a good move. And since I stupidly got rid of uh, quick attack in place of double team and I was trying to get the tail whip. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of tail whip. And we are going to use it and let get us slam. Okay, and next up, we'll get Jafar. Switch out for Rhino. We're going to use the Dig and dig the ever-loving crap out of this tentacle. I need Rhino to start gaining the moves that he needs. I really do. Okay, is there anything, anything in here? My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. This is this a TM? Oh, I think so. Nope. Super potion. Still pretty useful. They're useful to get for free, but they're a big ripoff, as you'll find later in the game. So, let's... Let's see. Keep Jafar out there, at least until Jafar evolves. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions and, fr are and friends are Pokemon I caught on my journey. Now the gentlemen here, they use, they can, their Pokemon range from fire to grass, and that fire to water, they have an assortment of Pokemon. But here is a Growlithe, a nice fire type, which I may or may not use, I haven't fully decided yet. And Jafar goes to level 15. Awesome. In fact, we're going to let Jafar t sit this one out. So I would rather Koopa get some extra experience because he needs to learn another powerful move. Which he should learn his next level, which shouldn't be too far from now. Let me heal. Now that we're all healed up, let's keep pressing. I believe this guy just immediately demands to know why we enter his room. So, let's go challenge him. There he is! How you doing, butthead? You insolent pup, how dare you watch it? You can't tell me what to do, butthead. You're a gentleman. Don't call me an insolent pup. Bitch. I will bitch smack you. Let's go Eric Paul. Don't get poisoned. Good Eric Carl. That's a good Eric Carl. I wonder why I wouldn't just keep using poison thing. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage, but there's a better better chance that I'll get poisoned if that's the case. Uh, let's throw Jafar out there. And Jafar's gonna level up soon. Hopefully in this video, so we can get a nice, good evolution. Oh, I thought it was going to down it. That would have been amazing. Oh, well. And Eric Carl evolved to level 19. That is friggin' awesome. I love the way Eric Carl's getting so far. And... Forget him. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick heal. I believe this girl asked for a weight of oh, cherry pie. So it's kind of pointless. Uh, this one I believe has trainers. Nope. Wrong again. How many times can I be wrong? Let's find out. Okay, these two are definitely trainers. No. Go back in there. Coward. Okay, let's go with Jafar. And I love Pokemon. Do you? I do love Pokemon. And he's got a Nidoran male level 21. I don't know why he wouldn't just evolve it. But we're gonna throw out our Nidorino. And that doesn't do much damage against us. We're a freaking Nidorino. And down he goes. Oh, we are rolling right now. I judge. Oh, Brick Break. I'm actually going to teach that to uh, Rhino. 
Let's talk to the girl. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Oh, so I'm guessing it's going to be a bunch of rare Pokemon. A lot of cool Pokemon, like some Hoenn and Johto Pokemon. Of course not, it's a pitch. Why am I not surprised? Hmm, what are we going to throw out? Let's throw out Zappy. Oh my god. Stand attack, spammer. I hate them. I hate all stand attack spammers. Get her in female. So we're obviously going to throw out Rhino again. I want Rhino to dig the living crap out of these things. Wow, Rhino's going to be a tank. I can already feel it. He's not going to be good against Psychic types, so... My best case scenario is just to keep throwing him out there against other powerful types of Pokemon. Ooh, and Jafar's evolving! Smexy! He's evolving into a, a powerful Psychic type. A very common Psychic type, which I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for using. But I don't care, because I love Kadabra. I mean, it, it, for me right now, it's impossible to get an Alakazam because I can't trade. But, it's nice. And now that he knows that, Eric Carl becomes expendable. And Eric Carl's just going to become a situational guy. That room, nothing happens in. But we can go back here, and we can go into the kitchen. I don't think any of these guys give you anything. But there are a couple of things you can look for, such as this. A Great Ball, which you can use to catch rare Pokemon. And in this garbage can, these three garbage cans, you can find berries. Chesto Berries, which awaken Pokemon. Cherry Berries, which heal paralysis. And a Pecha Berry, which cures poison. You can either give it to them to eat, or they can eat it during battle. That's the one good thing about berries. And let's see, before we go to these rooms, there's, let's go upstairs and go out onto the main deck, because there are a bunch of trainers here too, or at least, I think a couple of trainers at least. Um, let's let Jafar get some experience, so he's not too far behind everyone else. Ahoy there, are you seasick? No, I'm not seasick, in fact, I just got on the boat, so yeah. Ooh, he's got a Machop, too. So, Kadabra, do your stuff. Tentacool, again. Hey, Kadabra, just keep rolling, dude. Oh, you're confused. Oh, of course, you're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, come on, Jafar. Come on. Oh, of course. Really? 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 Ugh. Had enough of your stupid bullcrap tentacle. Come on! Are you freaking serious right now? Damn straight you better freaking die, little rat. Freaking useless jellyfish. Good, I deserve to learn a good move like bite. Get the hell out of here, tackle. About damn time I learned a good move. I was just careless. No, you're a cheating bastard. That's what you are. Why am I? I don't know. I guess I'm just agitated or something. Hold on a second. Let me check something. I want to see if I'm recording or not. No, I don't want to leave. Whatever. Okay, I am good. So, let's pause it again. Hide the overlay. Minimize. Good. It's a bit confusing because in the when I play the N64 games, they cut out the Fraps logo, or at least they minimize it, but here it's in your face. And no, I don't want to do a little jig with you. Hope you, you and your Pokemon are a lot 
somewhat less annoying than that stupid tentacle. Frickin' ridiculous. Shelter. Who are- Aw, uh, yeah, let's throw a uh, flower at him. I mean, I know flower is weak to the ice type moon, but I really want flower to start leveling up. Flower is pulling his own weight in this, on this team, though, which is good. And... There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to heal anymore. At least not unless we have, like, graphic fainting and stuff. So let's give... Flower a potion to heal from. Uh, this guy teaches us, tells us about a Pokemon that randomly appears. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Now we know what Pokemon to look for, a big fatty named Snorlax. Okay, are there any other trainers? Yes, we got two trainers here. A fisherman and a gentleman. Now the gentleman I'm going to throw a rhino against, but for the fisherman... Let's send Flower out. Check out what I fixed up. Okay. Let's see if it's something good. And you're not like the fisherman in uh, Ruby and Sapphire, which is a freaking magic card. No, for Goldie. Those aren't too bad. It's annoying. Cause they know freaking Peck when they shouldn't know Peck because they're not freaking birds. Then again, Nidoran shouldn't know Peck. Tentacool. Oh yeah, I am not dealing with Tentacool BS today. Hold on a moment. Adjusting my lumbar support. Ow! That really hurt. Oh. It's a bit better. I got a memory foam pillow back here. Work wonders! Uh, let's take out... Let's go Jafar. I think Jafar can handle this. Poison. Good. Just poison himself, which is awesome. Jafar keeps leveling up. Goldeen. Right back to Flower. Um... While we're on the subject of Pokemon, since I'm playing it, I got a question for you guys. When you're playing RPGs like Pokemon, like um, Kingdom Hearts, like Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, or the MMORPG, other MMORPGs online, I got a question for you guys. Do you guys constantly level the, your Pokemon or your whatever your, yourself up so you have a good team? Or do you just go basically wherever the wind takes you and do whatever you want? Because when I first started playing Pokemon and all these other games, I would go wherever I wanted. Like, I would have Pokemon at, like, level 10 when you're here. And, like, I'd be going up to the Elite Four with Pokemon at level 30. And I would have barely scraped by, but I would have had a shot at least. And Rhino does, does his job. Whoops the crap out of that Pikachu. I mean, I got up to that, uh... The first time I played Kingdom Hearts, I got up to the Jafar fight under level 10. And then I got up to the Riku fight, the second Riku fight at level 35, and I ended up getting, I ended up getting thrashed. That was just because you kept getting so much HP from all the bosses that it becomes ridiculous. Alright, these guys aren't battlers. Um... These two are, though. We got a lady, or a lass, and her grandpa. And against her grandpa, let's throw out Rhino. Which do you find more, more worthy, a strong or a rare Pokemon? Well, it depends. Depends on what, in terms of strength, how strong you've raised it. Like, let's say a Growlithe. A Growlithe is a fairly strong Pokemon. And I do prefer Growlithe over most fire types of this generation. With the exceptions, of course, being the starters, like Charmander and Torchic, who evolve into awesome, kick-ass, uh, Pokemon, in the end, in Blaziken and Charizard. 
And it sucks because we're not gonna see Charizard. He's like the center and the heart of this game. Like I should be Charizard since it's fire red, but I just don't feel like it. And Rhino's just gonna keep blitzing the crap out of these guys because he's just so good. And I like him being this good. I'd rather him be good than be under leveled and sucking. Okay, what we got here, we got an X attack, which you can use during battles. Um, let's just give Rhino a potion. And then, I don't know what she has. And again, when in doubt, use Eric Carl. And that's gonna become when in doubt, use Jafar now. Which is actually something funny, like I was watching the, uh, making to Aladdin the other day. And I actually learned something really funny. That when the group was having problems deciding what could go on in certain scenes, or what they wanted some humor in a scene or something, they would say there was a plaque or a little poster on the board by the recording area, and it was, when in doubt, hurt the bird. So Disney went in out of their way to just purposely torment poor Yago in that game. I'm out in that movie. And he does... You know, a lot of crappy stuff happens to him in that movie. I mean, he, get, he, he gets freaking... tormented by the magic carpet. I have to tell you about the Safari Zone. I can tell you guys about that when we get there. They tell you, they tell you about the Seasick Captain. And you're pretty much done on the SSN. There are just two more things you have to deal with. One... That's right, you know him. A-hole's back. Bonjour, Edman64. Because he thinks he's got a good French accent. Yo, you're from Brooklyn, man. And I'm from Boston. I'm from Boston. You're from New York. We're gonna, we're gonna fight, man. We're gonna fight. And there's no way you could have caught 40 Pokemon without cheating, dude. There's really no way you could have. Especially when you have the same team as le from last time, except two of your po except three of your Pokemon have evolved. Come on, dude. And your Pidgeotto's even worse than it was with last time. Okay, Raticate. Rhino's turn to shine. Uh, let's go double kick. Ah, you poisoned yourself. And Rhino's OP, so he don't care. Kadabra. Ooh, let's throw, let's throw Koopa out there. Fight. Kinesis, I believe that does lower accuracy. I'd like to keep using Fight, and of course it misses. And of course he... Uh, this game... Uh... So much rage with this game, where they get all these stupid easy hits and I can't get Jack done. Okay, Ivysaur. Um, Jafar, you're up. Beautiful thing about Ivysaur, it's part poison type. So it doesn't matter if this thing thinks it can leech my HP away. I'm just gonna confuse the living crap out of it. So how are, how do you confuse a Pokemon? Like, you're like, if a tree falls in the middle of the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Nobody knows! Or at least in the Pokemon world, nobody knows. And your bar grows to level 18, at least you're raising your Pokemon. Bitch, please. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yup, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. He's such a loser. He really is. He's such a loser. Hope he gets hit over the head with a shovel. Don't know why I just did an S there. Ugh, I feel hideous. Loser. Apparently, we like giving old men back massages. That does not give me hopes for the future. Woo, thank you, I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hit and cut technique? 
I could show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know. You can have this, this hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can TC it cut any time. And we get the HM01, which is cut, in case you didn't know. By all that logic, it should be fly. But we are done on the SSN. Thank the Lord. Was getting annoyed by seeing nothing but doors and portholes. But watch, we're gonna flash our way out of here! Ah! Get out of my way! No! You fool! And watch this ship sail away with great speed. Come sail away! Come sail away! Come sail away! Come sail away! And you know what? No, I'm not gonna call this an episode. Because there are two more places I want to explore before we do the gym. Actually, you know what? One place I want to explore. And one little side quest we can do. And it's here in Diglett's cave. Now, Diglett is... It's amazing that Diglett is... Oh, never mind. Forgot to heal our Pokemon on the way out, so be right back. Much better. Now that we're here in Diglett's cave with a healed group of Pokemon... We are going to explore Diglett's cave by using a repel. Now there are a couple of good things about Diglett. For starters, it's a ground type, which makes it very lethal against the gym here in Vermilion. They're really fast and they hit hard. The problem Oh my god, a Doug Trio! How do I find a Doug Trio first? That is amazing. Really? That thing hit five times? That is shit of the full variety. Okay, hopefully... A Pokeball will catch it. Of course it won't though, because this is my luck. Holy crap, it did, and we have a good trio! Level 29. So if you're, if you're, if you're lazy, you could technically... I could bring him into this team, kick Rhino out, and have a level 30 Pokemon. I could do that, but I'm not a dick, so we're just gonna keep going. I would like to catch a Diglett, so I can show you what they look like at least. Oh. How come when I was in here before and I was trying to get my Pokemon back up to the level where they were before when the stupid thing crashed, I was finding nothing but high level freaking Diglets. All I found was a Doug Trio. Oh well. In this house, you can talk to a little boy in the corner, and you could trade an Abra for a Mr. Mime. Now, Mr. Mime isn't too bad a Pokemon, I just don't like using up. Oh, forgot to teach Pokemon Cut. So, who's gonna learn Cut for us? Who's gonna be the sacrificial lamb? Hmm. It could be either Rhino or it could be. Flower. We're gonna teach it to flower. And flower. Yeah, let's get rid of sweet scent. It's it's nice and it attracts Pokemon if I'm trying to catch them or fight them. But it's just well, flower really does need a second physical attack. And just like that. Now part of this is not a side quest. If you come down here. You can talk to this guy, who is one of Professor Oak's aides, and if you have 10 species caught in your Pokedex, he gives you an important item, another HM, which is Flash. It lowers accuracy, but it also lights up dungeons, which is cool. Oh, forgot there are a couple items down here. An Ether. I believe this is a Parl Seal. Carl seal. I think we're done here. Now, before we do anything else, in case, first off, in case you didn't know, that's Viridian Forest in there, so there's this nice little shortcut around Viridian Forest if you really don't want to deal with it. And here we are in Pewter City. There's one more little cut thing we can do. Go into the back so we don't have to pay to go to the museum. But talk to... First, if you talk to this guy, he can teach you this move, Seismic Toss, which is a kind of a pointless move in my opinion. But you could also talk to this guy and 
He believes that there is Pokemon DNA in this Amber. And that's actually true. You can get the Pokemon Aerodactyl from that. Uh, unfortunately, we have to wait till much later in the game before we can even have a chance at reviving it. So, yeah, it was kind of pointless to have it now, but... Let's get back to Vermilion. Hopefully, we catch a Diglett this time. Bag. Hell. Ooh, another Doug Trio? Oh, crap, it has a Rena Trap, too, so you can't run. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Ooh, confusion! Keep hurting yourself, keep hurting yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting- Oh my god, 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 come on, come on, come on. Good. Oh my god, I can't believe I've run into two Doug Trios on this journey. Ridiculous. Wow, Diglett's cave is so long, and of course, the minute it runs out, all we get is weak Diglett. And it lives, so that's good. And now we're gonna catch Diglett. That'll give us 25 Pokemon for our Pokedex. I have no use for it, though. We already ha we're already gonna have a ground type. Oh my god, I really have to remember to put these stupid repels down. Of course it knows Arena Trap. It's only fair that this thing knows Arena Trap. Stupid. Keeps you from running during during battle. Which sucks. You also can't even switch your Pokemon out. Well, I'm gonna call that an episode. Thank you for joining me. I'm Nintendo Man 64. Join us next time where we travel to the right, where we have all these trainers and items, and we travel to the left to go to the gym. Thank you for, as always, I'm Nintendo 64 signing off. Sayonara, guys.